All right, Valve just released the Portal 2 map editor. It's actually pretty easy to use. We'll go through the basics and get a map up and going. First, we're going to click on Community Test Chambers. Create Test Chambers. New Test Chamber. Click New. All right, you'll see here we have a basic room. It com comes complete with an entrance. An exit, strike that, reverse it, and an observation window. All three of these have to be in every map. There are some ways you can get around having the observation window, but for the most part, everything here is required. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of that observation window, if you want to do that. Since it has to be on your map, you can just hide it. Select everything that it's on, move it back a few spaces, select this face here, drag it up, voila, you still have it in the room so it's still okay but the player will never see it so you can make a nice dark map. First thing we're gonna do is select everything with control A. Now we're gonna toggle portal ability. I like to start off with this and then you can build your map and individually toggle portal ability of select panels. You can use this to kinda guide the player around and point their eye towards what they need to be doing in the room because you can't really place a lot of scenic things to guide the player's eye. So we're going to press P, that'll toggle it to non-portable, and let's get to building. First thing we're going to do is deselect everything, then we're going to drag our exits over here, and let's grab the entrance, and let's move it on the other side. Pretty simple room right now. Since we're going to be a little bit OCD, because we're going to be doing science, uh, you double click on this face, that'll select everything that aligns with it. Go ahead and drag it. Now you see it's nice and even. We've got the doors in the middle, well, that door in the middle. Let's go ahead and move this. Everything's nice and aligned. Now what's a portal game, a portal map rather, without any obstacles? So. Let's create our first obstacle here. Select that, drag it down, and let's fill it with deadly, deadly goo. I mean, this is the best kind of goo after all. We want a way for our player to get around this. So, let's drag our deadly goo man over a little bit. I'll actually fill it in over here but I'll prevent the player from getting there by using a glass panel so that they can still see that they're supposed to be able to get over there. Right click on it, starting angle, 90 degrees. There we go. Now, this is going to start deployed, which is what we want, but we want a way for the player to retract it. So let's put a button down. Uh, put a cube button down over here. We're going to wire this button up. So to wire it, you right click, connect to, and you select your panel. Now whenever the player puts a cube in there, it'll close this panel and they can cross. The only problem is, there's no cube. <laughs> now uh, we aren't the type to leave the player like that, so let's go ahead and drop a cube in there. You can click and drag or just drop it where you please. By default you're gonna have a dropper and if you have any hazards in your map that can destroy a necessary component it's best to leave the dropper there. That way if the player drops it in the goo they're not stuck and they can complete the map. Alright, we've got everything going. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Click build and play by mousing up to the top, clicking on the play button. friendly tip as it builds. We do what we must because we can. Alright, nice and dark. Oh no, look! I have to adjust the properties of that door. Let's see if they can get by with it activated, though. 
Now it looks like the player could still jump over here, which is not what we want. So we're gonna have to rework that aspect. And see if they can jump this little moat. And they can't. Oh, our map has failed on multiple levels. Let's fix that by pressing tab. Pressing tab is a shortcut, brings you right back into the editor. You can make the necessary changes. Alright, we see the store here. It state did change when we wired it, so let's right click that. Start deployed. Now we need to increase the size of this moat, so select these faces, drag them back one. We also ran into the problem where the player could just jump over this. That's not what we want. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's go ahead and select both of these faces, drag them inward. Alright, we'll drag this down here, like that should work out pretty well. And let's test it to see if it's compatible with the water. It should be. Click the play button. Right, it is nice and dark. We, looks like the goo is compatible. We're gonna have to change the starting state of this trap though, because the trap door is deployed right now, which means I don't even need this cube. <laughs> okay, press tab to go back into the editor. Select this door, right click, uncheck start deployed. Now, by holding control and dragging, we'll be able to duplicate this. Now it's duplicated, but it's still not wired. So what we can do, connect to, you cannot connect it to the other door unfortunately, but you can connect it to the button. Gonna make things a little bit messy looking as far as our blue lines are concerned. It's just something we'll have to deal with. Looks like it should be okay. Just hope the cube doesn't fall into the goo, but that's what playtesting is for. like our mode is in good shape. The cube does not fall into the goo. I'm gonna pick it up, drag it over here. Sort of. Oh. <laughs> Be sure you actually hit the button. Now we can cross with impunity. Ah. Now there is one problem I see with this map and it's that a portal map doesn't have any portal surfaces in it. So let's create another obstacle that requires the use of portals. Press tab to go back to the editor. And... About a nice laser puzzle. Everybody loves lasers, right? Put this emitter here. Drag it down so the player's gonna be able to reach it. Put the catcher at the same height. Let's decide where we'd like these. Make sure this is on the bottom. Alright, so laser puzzle, but we don't want the player to be able to portal across just at the beginning of the map and skip our first obstacle. So let's go ahead and move the laser catcher over here, and then we'll put down a wall so they can't just use portals to get through it. Go ahead and put that there. Hazard type, Fizzler. That'll be fine. Now we can create portable surfaces. Go ahead and move the 
this over here. Portable surface there. Portable surface here. And just to kind of force the player into doing what we want them to do, let's include a relay on this end. All right, go ahead and click play. Let's test it. Right, looks good already. Let's grab our handy dandy cube. Actually hit the button this time. Crossover. We've got our laser puzzle to contend with. Let's go ahead and get that going. Alright. Now only one thing left to change, and that's even if the player doesn't complete the laser puzzle, this door is going to stay open. So let's go ahead and wire the laser puzzle to the door so that it has the player has to complete that to actually make it out. So what we're going to do now is select this whole wall, move it back to, select this door, drag it up one, and let's put some stairs in. Go ahead and rotate those. And we're going to wire them to the laser puzzle. If I can find it. <laughs> I have totally put stairs on the wrong door. So let's fix that. Easily done. Go ahead and drag the door back down. It's like this. Bring it back in. like this, drag it up. Alright, run into issues where observation window is too close to the door. Go ahead and close off this surface. One more it seems. Alright, that should satisfy the space requirements. Let's go ahead and fix these stairs. We have to make some adjustments to our laser puzzle. Go ahead and make this portal. Drag the laser receiver back over. Go ahead and toggle the portability of these by selecting them and pressing P. Alright, now we wire the laser catcher to the stairs. Should be good to go. Let's give this one last try. ever so humble. Side effect of moving this wall back. Cube has a little bit more room to bounce around. It's not a bad thing. Go ahead and drop it in there. Cross our handy dandy bridge. Through the fizzler. Solve this laser puzzle like the pros we are. Jump over some lasers. And we've completed it. Alright, now we've verified the puzzle works. Go ahead and press tab to go back into the editor. Press escape. Don't press escape, actually. File. Publish. It'll get things ready for us.
clicked on agree publish for everyone and let's publish it All right, brought up the Steam Workshop page, and voila, simple testing, everything has a beginning. Welcome to download this, see the URL up here, its ID is 7089516565. Thanks, have a good day.